Welcome to Inspirational Interruptions. This is Rich Bracken, and today we're going to talk about the five ways that you can establish and enhance your personal brand, whether individually or professionally. Your personal brand is everything. It's how you bring yourself to any table whatsoever. It's how you communicate in different channels, and it's how other people converse about who you are and what you mean to them. So these critical factors are just a few things that you need to be focusing on when establishing your personal brand. The first thing to do to establish your personal brand is establish a niche or a focus that you want to be known for. This is really, really critical because so many people try to be generalist because they feel like the larger the net, the more clients are going to get. But if you are very surface level, you're not going to add a whole lot of value to the clients or to the audience that you're trying to reach. So make sure that you're identifying a niche that you want to be known for and that you're going to enjoy being known for because you're going to spend a lot of time within that focus. So make sure that that is something that you can talk about and that you can enjoy doing the work on. The second thing, be authentic. It's so suffocating to see people when they're trying to establish themselves that they're so ingenuous and you can see through it in a heartbeat. Make sure that you're not that individual. Make sure that what you're saying, you truly believe in. Make sure that what you're focusing on is something that makes a difference to you as much as you want it to make a difference to your clients too. Because if you're just saying what's popular and not what's important to you, people are gonna see right through the act. So be genuine in your approach and be authentic in how you communicate. Number three, be consistent and be patient. I just did a LinkedIn Live with my good friend Mandy, and we talked about how so many people, specifically on LinkedIn, but also on social media, are the rapid fire salespeople. They're not trying to develop relationships, and they're trying to get as many clients as they can. They figure if they shoot 100 emails out, if they get one, they're gonna get at least one new client. That is the wrong way to approach things. If you're consistent in your message, consistent in your behavior, and you're patient in your delivery, you're gonna actually develop better relationships that are gonna bring you more clients, more high quality clients, more high paying clients, and also more loyal clients. And that is the most critical piece. Those are also gonna be the clients that are going to refer you to others because they truly believe in what you do. Number four, be perfectly imperfect. And that means be ready to make mistakes and be ready to fail. Everything is a learning process. You're not going to start off as an expert in anything unless you grow and learn and make mistakes along the way. The best educational opportunities are through growth opportunities through failure. So embrace those opportunities. Don't be afraid to fail. It's better to make a mistake with a lot of enthusiasm because you truly are passionate about what you're doing than to just to kind of tiptoe around things and be too afraid to make mistakes so you're not taking a step forward. Be humble. Nobody is perfect. Everybody makes mistakes no matter what they want you to believe. Nobody is perfect and neither are you. So embrace those opportunities to grow, to learn, and to improve through failure. And finally, the most important thing is to bring a positive impact to anything and everything that you're doing, specifically in how you serve and help people out. There are so many takers in the world these days that are out for themselves, that they're out for their game, they're out for their sales, they're out for their business, and they're not truly investing in and trying to spread positivity and trying to spread a really good, a positive impact. That is where, again, you can stand out from the crowd. And it's sad to say that being positive and exercising things like the golden rule are going to be differentiators, but in today's marketplace, you'd be surprised at how many people don't leverage that as a simple differentiator. Be positive, be helpful, be supportive, and you may not always be the answer for your client or prospect. Don't be afraid to pass them on to somebody that maybe is a little bit more in their wheelhouse. That does more for your brand than anything, because if you try to be the solution for everyone, you're gonna be the solution for no one. So those are some easy ways that you can establish and enhance your personal brand, both personally and professionally. For more information and resources, please visit Rich Bracken dot com or visit me on my LinkedIn page.